Good morning. It's another snowy, wintry day in Chicago, Illinois, March 2014. And today's session is how to pass the PMP test on your second try. Can you give me 10 minutes? Can you watch this YouTube video to the end? I truly believe I can help you pass the PMP test on your second try. So this is the problem. You failed to pass the PMP test on your first attempt. Now the pressure is on to pass the PMP test on your second and hopefully final try. My advice to you is this, calm down. That's my advice, calm down. You are a professional project manager. That's why PMI accepted your application in the first place. The test now has your full attention and that's a good thing. You are better focused. You will pass the PMP test on your second try with my help. So you need to learn from your mistakes. I think there's three major areas where people have mistakes that cause them to fail on their first PMP test attempt. They are time management problems, they are process group weakness problems, and they are formula difficulties. The problem, once again, you failed. The answer, I hope that I'm the answer. If you visit yourexcelcoach.com to arrange a PMP training consult with me, I can help. Or in May of 2014, you can visit richardchronis.com to arrange the same thing. And now, some basic help on how to pass the PMP on your second try. As I said before, time management, process group weakness, and formula difficulties. In time management, you didn't finish the test. Now, I remember a nice person walking in on one of my PMP classes recently, and he introduced himself, I'll not use his name, and he said that he failed to finish the PMP test and I asked him uh, well what happened and he said that he was unable to answer the last 50 questions of the test well in that case for this nice talented person the real question was a question of time management and he knows it full well that he has to improve on time management so what are the solutions well the first thing you need to understand is that you have one minute per question that's my method there are 240 minutes divided by 200 questions for the PMP test. So basically you have 1.2 minutes per suggestion, uh, per question. That's why I'm always fascinated that on groups like LinkedIn for PMP, people debate back and forth the answers on questions. It really doesn't matter because you just have 1.2 minutes for every single question. So how do you get fast in the PMP test? you don't just answer hundreds of questions. You don't just take a couple of practice tests. Instead, you study hundreds of questions. I studied 1,000 questions and honed down my difficult questions to about 300 and then 50 of the worst questions so I became better and better. So getting faster on the PMP test isn't just answering questions, it's studying them. The other part is that you need to build your test stamina from one hour to four hours. You can start with a one hour test and do it exactly in one hour. Don't just test in one hour. If you find a test that, sa that says take, I don't know, 40 questions in one hour, do exactly that. And you build your test stamina from one hour to four hours. The other part of time management is that you want to use your 15 minute pretest wisely. At the beginning of each PMP test, you're given 15 minutes to acclimate yourself to the test method. Well, by the time you get there, you should already know what the test method is. So during that 15 minutes, you should spend only two minutes acclimating to their test methodology. And the other 13 minutes you should spend on writing down your 47 brain dump in approximately eight minutes and writing down your formula brain dump in perhaps four minutes. You can visit yourexcelcoach.com or later in, Mar in May of 2014, richardchronice.com for some of my brain dumps. Uh, brain dumps. They're already up and running on yourexcelcoach.com. So the next area of weakness is process group. When you fail or pass the PMP test, you get your test results. So if you failed, what did the report card say? Well, this is how PMI does their scoring. This is their explanation of the grades they gave you. If they marked you as proficient, it means it, it indicates performance is above the average level of knowledge in this domain, and that's great news. Moderately proficient means that your average indicates performance that is at the average level of knowledge in this domain. If you are below proficient, 
that indicates performance is below the average level of knowledge in this domain. I hope that you kept the uh, report card that they gave you when you failed your PMP test. If not, I hope that you remember it because it gave you valuable information. For example, if you failed, what does the following test, uh, test score tell you about a person's process group strengths or weaknesses? So you can see that for initiating, they're moderately proficient. Planning, they are below. Executing, they are below proficient. Monitoring, they are moderately proficient. And closing, moderately proficient. So if this person improves their planning and executing process group knowledge, they may pass the test next time. Frankly, I think I can help them, and I think they can do a better job. This is a worst, uh, uh, harder, a worst case scenario. Uh, what does the following test score tell you about a person's process group strengths and weaknesses? If you're below, 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 below in four areas, clearly uh, this person or you, you have a lot of restudying to do. Um, you didn't learn it well enough the first time. Sorry, it's the truth. You just really need to kind of start again and become stronger. So when it comes to process group solutions, here are some of them. Study, you may think, oh, that's obvious, Richard. Uh, sure, I need to study. Well, since you answered every question on the test, you guessed way too much. You need a new way to study, and I have some suggestions that I can give you. The other method uh, for, uh, for a solution to process group weakness is that you need spot checks. If you are below proficient in planning, you better study that er area. Also, the testing. You need to test yourself and focus on process groups only. You may find that uh, there are some testing pieces of software that are actually better for you for testing your process group weakness, and I can lead you to some of those. The final area of difficulty has to do with formulas. Now, easily 10 to 15 percent of the test is numerical or formula driven. So I don't think I'm breaking any PMP ethical standard by telling you that. I'm not telling you what the questions are. I'm not giving you exact questions. Just know that easily 10 to 15 percent of the test is numerical or formula driven. So how good are you with numbers and formulas? This is really important. Did you write down your formula dump before you began the PMP test? Did you actually know the formula dump well, whatever you wrote down? And did the numerical and or formula questions cause you to fail the PMP test? You know that really in your heart of hearts whether it did or not. Some of the answers, you need to absolutely do a good formula dump during your 15 minute pretest. I have an excellent formula dump cheat sheet that my PMP students enjoy. Uh, it also includes two diagram schematics that easily make more sense out of the horribly difficult, sometimes earn value questions and critical path questions. The other answer is you have to test, test, test. There's no way around this. That you know, if, if you had trouble with formulas, you need to get better at formulas and numerical problems under time pressure. And together we can find more formula questions for you to study. Uh, more on answers. You don't need to be perfect with PMP formulas to pass the PMP test. I think that you just need to become better at all types of PMP formulas and questions. Uh, there's a tipping point at which you, you know enough formulas so that you're scoring well enough in this area and you can pass the test. It would be great to say that you need to be perfect with all PMP formulas, but I think that's kind of scary for some people. I've had people in classes that seem to fear math and formulas. Uh, I certainly respect that. Uh, what, I, what I suggest that you do is set aside your formula fears, your math fears, and just realize that there are formula questions and you need to do better with them. So let's find your uh, you know, PMP formula weaknesses together and make you stronger, better prepared for the PMP test. And you can ask yourself, Richard, can you really help me pass the PMP on my second try? Yes, I believe I can. In fact, I'd love to work with you on passing the PMP. Did I mention that I've taught 10,000 people in the classroom how to use computers? And I've also privately trained hundreds of people, professionals, on using computers better. Now I teach the PMP, among other things. So the 10 minutes are over. I hope you helped, I hope I helped with concrete advice on passing the PMP on your second try. If you wish, you can arrange a private training consult with me. Just go to yourexcelcoach.com and uh, go to the top menu for PMP tools and arrange a private training assessment of your readiness for passing the PMP on your second attempt. Also, in May of 2014, similar information will be at richardcronice.com. So, get help passing the PMP. 
you absolutely need to be in a PMP-led study group. Join one. Even if it's not me, find someone who's a PMP, who's leading a study group, join them and follow my advice. Take it seriously. The other option, if you want professional training help, as I said, visit yourexcelcoach.com or richardchronics.com in May of 2014. So that's me in the upper left cor the left hand corner on a wonderful day. And uh, that's just a snapshot of yourexcelcoach.com, uh, the website. You'll see that up top there's something that says PMP Tools. I just want you to know that, uh, as it says on the bottom, you can pass the PMP. I have faith in you. I really believe that people with a clear intention and a belief that they can pass the PMP, who put an effort behind it and put their heart behind their belief, put their work behind their belief, I believe they can pass the PMP. Yes, you can pass the PMP. I have faith in you. Thanks for visiting. If you enjoyed this YouTube video, please subscribe to my channel. Your comments and suggestions for future videos are welcomed. As I said, and as I believe, you can pass the PMP. I have faith in you. My name is Richard Cronice, and I am a PMP from Chicago, Illinois, USA.